This right here is the backtest of a news event strategy that I have shown you in my latest video. In this video, I will explain to you how you can backtest your own news-based strategies using the scripts I have uploaded to the MQF5 codebase section. But first, let's look at why backtesting news strategies is tricky in the first place. Last time, we discovered that it's impossible to grab news events directly in the strategy tester. Imagine trying to request news data for every tick during a backtest. That would mean millions of requests to MQL servers, and we know that's not ideal. So how do we solve this? The easiest solution is to record past news events into a file before we backtest. Then during the backtest, we can read this file into a structure and simulate the behavior of the MQL5 calendar. Let me show you how that works. Here's where the calendar file.mqh include file comes in. This file has two key classes. First, the calendar file writer, which helps us write the necessary data to files which will be stored in the terminal's common folder. We use functions like write country file, write event file, and write value file. Then there is the calendar file reader. This reads the files back into our EA during the backtest and helps us track news events in the ONTIC function. We work with three main arrays, values, countries, and events. The real magic happens with the track and propagate functions of the calendar file reader class. The track tells us when a news event has passed and the last variable will be an index to the last past event in the values array. The propagate loops through the values array to find the next upcoming event, and the index of this event will be stored in the next variable of the file reader class. Let me show you how this works in action with a simple script that will write past news data for a given currency and a given period. The only two inputs are the start date and the end date. After the script is finished, you will find a new calendar folder in the common folder of your terminal. This is where we are going to read the data from with our EA. Once the files are written, we can load them into the expert advisor for backtesting. Let's move on to the actual EA we are testing. This strategy opens limit orders based on incoming news events. We have four main inputs. The take profit and the stop loss, both in points. The volume and the expiry in seconds, which specifies the time when we will cancel pending orders if no price movement occurs. First, we load the events from the files we have created. It's important that the file names are the same as they are in the script. Now let's look at the core part of the logic in the ONTIC function. First, we use the freader.propagate function, which moves through the values array of news events. This function ensures that the next index points to the next upcoming news event. We loop through the next five events and check if any of them are relevant. If the event's time is too far in the future, we skip it. Once we find an event that's close enough, we use the event by ID and country by ID functions to get more details, such as the event's name and the country it affects. Next, we check if the event is related to the base or profit currency. If it is, we filter further by checking if the event is related to inflation, like CPR or PPI, or an interest rate decision. If no orders have been placed yet, so the expiry variable is zero, we place a breakout order at a distance from the current price. These orders are set to expire after a certain time, which we define with the expiry seconds input. If the price doesn't move within this time, we will delete the orders and reset the expiry variable. To help visualize all of this, I have added some print statements so you can track the news events and see exactly when they happen in the strategy tester. Now let's see if we can get this strategy working in the strategy tester. I have set some extreme parameters to ensure trades are triggered when news events occur. As you can see in the backtest results, trades are opening whenever a relevant news event comes up. You can cross-check the news events with the MQL5 calendar, though keep in mind there might be a small time offset between your server and the actual event time on your local computer.
Now that's it for today's video. I hope this helps you backtest your own news-based strategies in MQL5. If you found this video useful, please make sure to like and subscribe for more MQL5 tips and tutorials. Also, feel free to check out my free products and the manager on my MQL5 sellers page. See you in the next one. Peace.